Jeremy Scott's Moschino Fall Winter 16 collection hit the runways of Milan just a couple of days ago and I'm thrilled, very happy to see Jeremy kind of, I don't know, show portray decay in such an amazing way. Now for the first half of the fashion show, by the way, check it out, go on YouTube or wherever you can or want to and wish to, to see the catwalk. There's enough places where you can check it out, also on Moschino.com. Um, it's a great show it begins kind of the first half is reminiscent i mean there's an homage to a lot of different brands also again we have versace we have chanel early 90s but then what i'm really interested in is kind of the second half or maybe the last third of the show where the evening gongs the red carpet gongs kind of start hitting the runway in this villa that is kind of reminiscent of Grey gardens of little Edie and big Edie, like this this villa that's kind of falling apart and these ladies kind of you know walking over these dirty carpets with, with a broke, broken down piano and <clears throat> chandeliers falling apart and then they you know so when these guns started hitting the red carpet the red carpet the, the catwalk is when I went oh yes I love it torn and and, and, and burned you know expensive evening guns basically that's the idea they're scorched and burned and then the uh, the models had hidden tiny uh, smoke machines in these dresses, so as they were walking down the catwalk, the, the dresses were emanating smoke. It was beautiful to see. Halfway down the runway was a frame, very reminiscent of Jeremy's um, opulence collection. So they would stop in the frame, you know, the photos would be taken and they would keep on walking. And it was just very dramatic, as I posted, drama mama, or Hollywood drama mama, on Instagram a couple of days ago, reposting the last look of the runway, which was a beautiful red dress burned. It, it looked like it came out of the movie Rebecca, you know, uh, or um, something else, I don't know, but the model also had a, a bow in the head, it was also burned, and... It was kind of a sort of a cape in the back and it was just beyond. So I retweeted Moschino's picture and then Jeremy was so sweet to like my post on Instagram. So it was kind of a like of a like of a retweet. But anyway, thank you, Jeremy. And thanks for making us dream again because um, this collection is really great. Thousand light years better than the men collection uh, for Fall Winter 16. I mean, there's a vision behind it. The woman dressed in a chandelier. I... <laughs> Yeah, that was more for play and for show. I mean, I have seen this in the past. It didn't really shock me. But just the beauty and elegance of the red last dress that hit the runway. Ah, oh, I want that in the fashion bunker. I want it archived in the fashion bunker. I have to find means to get that dress. God knows how much it's going to cost. Um, and uh, what else to say? In general, you know, if you go and check out Franco Moschino's uh, pieces and collections from the uh, 80s and 90s, you're going to see a lot of wit and humor in them and um, a lot of political wit and humor. And I think of Jeremy's collection so far, except for the shirt of the first collection that he did, which was Fall Winter 14, the McDonald's Fast Fashion Fast Food Collection, this is the one that kind of comes the closest to sort of social critique of uh, the decadence that we're living in right now. And uh, I like that sense of urgency. You know, we, we've seen it. And if you want, you can check out my uh, Yeezy Season 3 First Impressions video uh, in the link somewhere up above or wherever, um, where I talk about a sense of urgency and a sense of like immediate need to change something. And a totally different, from a totally different point of view, because uh, Yeezy kind of approaches it as kind of a post apocalyptic scenario where a lot of people say it looks like reminiscent of Matrix. Um, Jeremy does the same, but from like kind of a high-end glossy point of view. It's nevertheless kind of urgency and the end of the world or apocalyptic type of feel to it. Perhaps it's only happening in this huge villa where everything is burning and we don't know what happened to make everything burn. Maybe it was somebody smoking a cigarette and just throwing it, you know, to the side for some reason. Or maybe it was really because, uh, I don't know, somebody, you know, the people are lighting on fire the aristocracy and finally a revolution is beginning. 
You never know. But what we do know is that it's, it's extremely fabulous. The entire scenario and the setting and the dresses and, and the illusion that's created with it. Very, very, you know, photo ready, film ready. It's, it's set ready. You know, you could shoot a movie with all those dresses. They make me, you know, they make like kind of visions of entire storyboards pop in my mind. So that is the good thing. They inspire me and they give me ideas, you know, to, to grow further. So uh, thumbs up for this collection, Jeremy and Moschino. Well done. You have Super Jacob stamp of approval. So guys, let me know what you think about the collection in the comment section down below. Don't forget to share this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you wish to see more. Love you. Don't ever give up on love. See you soon. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. I'm also on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So come on over guys and join the fun!